This is the gold bladder challenge. Just cut through the lung a little there. He's a little fry. We'll see this kind of strange pattern here. See, it's a bit of a web. They have air sacs that extend off the caudal portion of the lung, and they tend to cover the dorsal surface of the liver. So that's what you're seeing as I've kind of opened the air sac. As far as I know, they don't actually use it for respiration. It's just more of a stigil than anything else. The respiratory portion of the lung is more meaty. It looks more like, oops, sorry, sorry Thomas. It looks more like a normal lung. And the fresh guy, you'll see it as the same as you see in mammals, a nice salmon pink kind of color, but he's, his is a little red. It's right here, though. This is all lung. Esophagus here. Just a little bit of clot of blood in the esophagus. Let me go along with what you were saying. That he's kind of yeah. looking a little hand upside down. Alright. I should take a quick look through all the organs before I start collecting and opening things. And again, it's just to make sure I find everything. The spleen is the thing that tends to trick me the most often. It's usually the spleen, the pancreas, and the gallbladder and snakes is pretty close together, and that's especially true in the boa day. Um, house their adrenal glands right adjacent to the testicle. And it's the same thing in the females adjacent to the ovary in the mesorca. So the adrenal gland will be sitting right in here. And it'll be just a long shape very similar to the gonad, but adjacent to it and darker. Barely coiled. So just Somebody here taking pictures anyway. What? Someone here taking pictures anyway. I can see him standing there with the camera in his hand. He sort of looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Oh, that was, uh, yeah, no. Oh, that was a very good one. 